Hi, this is Vicki Romaine with Cheerful Greetings, and today we are continuing with our series of showcasing family members in a story theme journal. I have a couple pieces of cardboard here. This is a piece that has not had the sides removed. Here's one where I've taken it apart, and you have the rough edges. And this is the way I like to use it. I'm going to take some gesso, and my sponge uh, brush, and dab it in there just a little bit. My brush is just about had it. It's been gessoed too many times. And I'm just putting enough on here to kind of give it an old or uh, torn appearance. Now I've done a couple here. Now the thing you have to remember about gesso, no matter what brush you use, whether it's a cheap sponge brush or a, a good brush, we don't ever use a good brush, but the first thing you need to do is um, put it in water and, and wash it off. Okay, I have one here that I did earlier that I'm going to use first while those two dry. Now, the purpose of the, is a cluster, so that means I'm going to put all sorts of things on it. And um, the first thing you'll want is your main feature, and that is going to be your character in your story. One that you talk about or display in your uh, junk journal. And this gentleman here is a little too large, so I'm gonna cut him off right underneath his hand. And let's see if I've gotten enough. And it's okay that it stands up above your cardboard. I'm gonna put it over to the side so that some of the uh, gesso can be seen. Now, what I've been using for material for my clusters is my husband's ties that he is throwing away. I caught him in the act and so I grabbed some of them and I'm cutting the neckties off or neckties up and uh, using the material from them. Some of them have uh, a foam inside and some don't. Well, the first thing I don't need is the tag. Okay, I'm gonna put, I kinda like this little stripe. So I'm just gonna cut down the stripe. And it's made of two layers and I don't need both layers. So I'm just gonna cut it like this. And it doesn't have to be straight, doesn't have to be smooth. You just need a little more color. I just need a little more color. I've just got him sitting there for now till I decide how I want it. And I think I'll do it like that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is glue down my material. Try to get most of your stuff together before you start gluing because you are not sure when you first start what you want on top and what you want on the bottom. I'm using this designer glue, which dries quickly and um, can't be seen after it's dry. It dries clear. I'm gonna put a little more down here at the bottom because I didn't go down quite far enough. And I want to make sure it stays on there. Now, it's okay that this sticks off like this. Kind of adds to the personality of the cluster. I would cut it right there at the seam, and not the seam, but the, the bend, but it'll smooth out eventually. 
Okay, next I'm going to glue my little guy. And we're gonna, he's going to be so we can um, include his hat, I think. And this particular one, somehow I printed him on the back side of a printer test. But he's not gonna be it's not gonna be seen. So we'll put it on there. Like this. When you get to the edge, go back and put some more glue because that's it's the edge, it's the part that gets all the rough treatment. I have a couple of little labels here. I'm not sure what they say. Uh, this one deals with um, uh, Colgate and companies. So we'll say that he's uh, a shopkeeper or something. And we'll put that right on top. And that will help hold down the um, piece of material. Okay, we need a little more trim. Let's see. Um, I've got some stones here. I can just put a stone back here. Just something to give it a little bling. These are not adhesive back stones, so I have to put the glue on them. And I want to move it over so it's on both sides are on the up ridge. And I got glue on my fingers. There we go. There he is. Okay, now we'll do a lady quickly here and see what we come up with. This is this is glue, this is dryer. I'm gonna have her going this way. Now these clusters can be put on the front of a pocket or they can be put directly onto your page. It's entirely up to you. Since this is a lady, I'm gonna put a leaf sticker up here. And so it doesn't have blunt edges. I'm just gonna kinda trim it off. And we have some flowers, yes. Oh, here's some leaves. We want to put a little glitz to her. Especially since we put leaves up there. There we go. And I'm going to go up rather than down so that I can leave a little bit of that um, gesso showing. Want the leaf on top of the girl, there we go. There we go. Now, I've got a couple that are made. Let me get the gesso off my board here. I'll have to scrape that off later. Okay, 
This one is just about finished, I think. It's not dry yet, so it's hard to handle. So let me show you the ones I have made. And then I'll, sh and I'll show you the ones that I've made previously. Here's the, the girl. As I said, put these on the front, <coughs> excuse me, of your pocket. As I say, you can put this uh, on the front of a pocket or directly on the page itself. Here's one I made with a piece of uh, necktie with the purple stone there. And I had a charm that was a star. So we've made him the sheriff. Here's another little girl. I used a piece of that same necktie that I did uh, on the man a while ago and uh, put some little flowers, yellow flowers, to match the coloring in her. And last but not least is this little girl that I used a sticker, a fern, and a three-dimensional flower. So here are the ones that I have done and I have made today. I hope you like them. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please come back and see me. And don't forget to subscribe. Have a great crafting day. Bye.